Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this section of the course, we are going to focus on the working capital schedule. So here we want to project our trade receivables, we want to project inventory trade payables. So trade receivables, this is this is a portion of, of revenue that was made on credit and inventory. This is the goods that the company stocks for the purpose of resale. And then we've got trade payables. So this is inventory that has been bought on credit. So when we buy goods or our stock on credit, then we generate or we incur trade payables. So here we want to compute the, like how many days does the commons trade receivables take to pay them, right? And how many days does the company take to process its inventory? So here we have got also trade payable days. We want to see like how many days does the company take to pay its suppliers or creditors? And then lastly, we compute the changes in working capital. So here, let's just do that. So before we start computing that, let's just turn these figures into blue. So here, and then we copy that. And then we use our shortcut Alt A E S, and then we press T for format to copy this that format here. And then here we use F for. Then we press Escape. And here let's just uh, put a border there. So let's just uh, put a border here. And let's just sum up the totals. So total. And this one we get this and then here obviously we in fact let me just use the sum function so here we get this one so here is operating working capital we say here and then here we can just see right so this is great and let's just compute the days receivable so here we are assuming that we have got 360 days so we're going to use 360 days so here i think let me just use it but the period we are using 360 days that will form part of our complete year <clears throat> so to do that let's just um, take the average so let's use the average so average so average of this and average of this and then here we divide by the revenue for 2022 and then we multiply by 360 so here let's take revenue for here and then we multiply by 360 days and then we get 164 days so this company um it, it takes 164 days to collect money from its credit customers or trade receivables so let's see here so let's use average so average of this and this divided by the cost of sales here so I think on the cost of sales, we have to put a negative before this since uh, the figure here, the yes. So since this one is a negative, so that will cancel that out. So let me just, so perfect like that. And then I'll multiply by 360 days and that will give us 620, 22 days. And let me just do the same here. And I'll take this, I'll do this, I'll divide by cost of sales as well for 2022. So let me scroll up there, this one, and then I'll multiply by 360. And then we get like 682 days to pay its suppliers. Right, so of which this is not uh, realistic it's just this is fictitious data 
so here let's just um, so now we have computed this and next up we need to project the working capital items which means we need to project our trade receivables we need to project our inventory and our trade payables so in the next section we are going to do that so see you there